This isn't the best place to be day. We've got Denman's uh, tool station. That one's empty. It's still too empty, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, three empty. Mm -hmm. What about, oh, I reckon they've got a bathroom store there, haven't we, around the corner around here somewhere? Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go! everyone and welcome to today's vlog hope you're all okay today so yeah boys have gone off to school it's a teacher strike today so i don't know as far as i know everything's back covid is normal and things like that so but yeah i was only an hour about sending ben this morning yesterday morning about five to seven we had another five six minute tonic chronic seizure from ben yeah, that was his first one since january Okay, just to come out of the blue as such, but we was expecting it to sometime to happen because obviously with the lack of sleep, the head banging like this and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, he bless him. He was actually asleep, had it in his sleep. Luckily, he woke me up making a noise like he does. I don't want to explain too much because it's they are seizures aren't the nicest things in the world to watch, to be honest with you, especially when it's someone you love and care about going through that um, situation. See, like I said, yeah, he even woke Sammy up as well and basically went into bed, yeah, he was having, his eyes were rolling, etc, etc. So, of course, just left him on his bed because while they're having a seizure, you're not allowed to move him or anything. You need to wait for it to stop, which we done. Called 999 and can't find emergency services at all yesterday. As soon as I dialed 999, they were here within five minutes, which was great. Um, again, because when I was talking to operate, they could hear Ben, he was... I have to admit yesterday he was struggling to breathe a little bit but again he is absolutely fine now obviously trip to the Horton yesterday again because I was trying to was planning to keep him at home because obviously he as soon as he come out of it properly it took him a good couple of hours I do have to admit that for him to come round and stuff he was really violently sick so what they what the paramedic crew done was they put a cannula in his hand and then was able to give him stuff with the cannula which helped it really really did but yeah, like I said, we were planning to keep him at home because his, his breathing come down to normal, his oxygen rate come back to 100%, his pulse is back to normal, his BP, because and when they first come, he, it was all over the place, basically. So they stapled him at home, which was fabulous, really, really good. Again, they were really nice, really, really friendly. And, um, and then basically any concern they had was his heart rate wasn't stable or otherwise, it kept going up kept dropping up it wouldn't stabilize whatsoever and of course that was, only, that was the only concern they had they phoned the hospital and they said to me yeah can you come in please to see us so which we done give them credit as soon as we got in there we had to wait about 10 minutes and that was it by the time we was in hospital Ben was up and walking around giving him a bit dozy a bit sleepy but yeah that was good actually by the time we got to the hospital that was about uh about 10 ish, about a couple of hours later. So, yeah, they done, they well, they tried to do the e EEG, the ECG thing on him because he still had all the pads and stuff on him, but he just wouldn't keep still, just kept moving around. So, they just done that. Took blood tests, which are absolutely fine. They all come back great. The biggest challenge was trying to get a urine sample out of Ben. He basically, obviously, you know, Ben's in pads and things like that. That was really, really hard. So what they done was they come up with like, like a catheter idea where they attach it to him and then that sort of thing. So yeah, that was managed to get him from that. But that's come back clear. But they didn't know whether they had the urine, not, yeah, they didn't know whether they had the urine infection because they said his, his nappy spent a bit, like a bit fishy, a bit TMI alert there. But yeah, so they tested that. Um, obviously there's no sign of bacterial infection which is great obviously they don't know if it's a viral thing because viral don't show us up in, in blood tests so you just basically got to keep an eye on him so there he goes like i said yesterday afternoon he slept for a few hours and he was actually flying back to his normal bouncy self 
Again, he was actually awake at quarter past seven this morning when I went to wake him up. He was up on his bed. So I said, do you want to go to school? And the smile come on his face. He come down the stairs. Yeah, his breakfast absolutely fine. And when um, the school bus was there, he actually went off to his bus. So yeah, I hope, fingers crossed, he'll be fine. School will look after him. I know they will really, really well. And I know they'll definitely phone me if there's an issue. Again, they got one of his buckle dazzlam emergency medications at school just in case they need to use it again. Hope, fingers crossed, touch what he won't. Because like I said, this is his first seed just since January. It's strange because he went five years without anything whatsoever. I knew he was on his, med I knew he was on his medications and that sort of thing. Yeah, five years without anything was getting to the stage where he said, what else am I? Oh, we'll, we'll slowly start taking him off his medication and stuff now. And obviously then COVID hit, he had all those issues during COVID. And then, like I said, one came out of blue at McDonald's car park in Toaster. Then he went 18 months without anything. And now he's gone almost five. So it's just these breakthrough seizures and things like that, just trying to figure out where they're coming from so anyway because it was bank holiday yesterday the hospital they is they couldn't really reach his proper pediatrician or nothing like that so they've told me this morning to try and get a hold of his gp or his pediatrician so i'm going to do that in a second leave messages for them hopefully fingers crossed they'll get back to me having said that though they are pretty good so if i say when i mentioned ben there more or less phone back practically the same day, if not the following morning. So I need to do that in a second. But one thing they did say at the hospital was, oh, so if you've got any form of respite care or anything like that, I said, no, nope, we do everything ourselves. And they said, I don't know how you do it. I was, so we simply said to them, we've got to do it because there's no one else there, basically, whatsoever. I'll tell you what, the last time me and Stephen had a night off without kid free was our fifth wedding anniversary and we've been now been married 14 years in august so that just goes to prove how long it's been i love a night away really really would love a night away from both the kids stuff like that because we can recharge our batteries that sort of thing because it's it's like we're saying with ben sometimes they feel like it's carer rather than his mum and dad and things like that obviously we won't change ben for the world but it's who he is and stuff like that but this would be nice to have that respite there or those overnight situations where like some of these people just go and recharge yourself basically but yeah so um that's why there wasn't a proper vlog for yesterday obviously we uploaded one of our disney countdown vlogs that was just a simple trailer which we just uploaded so the legoland vlog which went up yesterday was from sunday basically so yeah so yesterday we was to the hospital for a few hours and things like that so anyway yeah so hope fingers crossed touch wood as well he'll be fine just be probably overreacting and stuff like that but as a special news mum just can't help but worry all the time what's going on that sort of thing so um just got to give think that if he's he's in the best place and everything happens because obviously that's where the hospital is it's only just down the road basically so and they'll call me if anything goes wrong so anyway yeah um like i said they're at school samuel's happy going to school today as well he's doing pe he really enjoys doing that and yeah so I just have to wait and see what happens basically but anyway yeah um i gotta go on now if i talk too much i'll probably end up crying because i did have a few tears last night again i didn't sleep very well either last night i was waking up going checking on pain checking on pain it's been all right it's been all right that sort of thing so anyway yeah i can make myself a cup of tea get myself some chocolate because i think i need it to be honest with you and then um got a few jobs to get done in the house obviously need to do dishwasher and also do some more of my washing so where do you think the best place have you go we've got denman's there tool station that one's empty it's still empty yeah um well, three empty. What about, oh, I reckon they've got a bathroom store there, haven't we, around the corner around here somewhere? So, yeah, so this is like a little mini retail park we've got in town. There it hasn't been here long, has it? Yeah, could do actually. Where do you park? Does it Demons way have it, or do you reckon might best go into the bathroom place? No, they don't do nothing, do they? They're just more electrical items, aren't they? Mm. Tool station, I reckon, the thing is, I reckon the best place would be the Tars and Bathrooms place. So, yeah, like I said, how long has this been up here? About a year? Yeah, you've got little cost, um, cost of drive through, through there as well, haven't we? Yeah, there's up in here, because the shower hose of our shower has got a hole in it, it's leaking like crazy. 
<laughs> it is absolutely it's quite funny because you had a shower last night and you thought hey where's all this water come from so yeah. you got it with you yes in the back every year mm. so yeah so, so like i said we're trying to uh, see if um if they can help us if not and then we'll just have to go to b&q or somewhere like that so yeah it's just annoying when it leaks oh I'll tell you what these look pretty anyway whatever they are don't they these for the outdoor wool oh wow i got nice for a place that one with that one wouldn't it got some cave thing there the forest and some donovan's off so don't worry with the fog in here and we'll see how we go when we come out yes unfortunately they don't do the bits we need um positive screw fix but having the canoe anyway i do like that but i like that don't you the shell with the thing on the side mm. i do like these big um tiles as well do you well oh, wow. i like i like the tiles on this one up here that one's quite smart actually okay here we go that's a nice walking shower, isn't it? Really nice that one is. Hmm? Mm. I do think these big tyres look loads better. Well, don't you think so? Mm. Okay, we're placing our bath for one of those. <laughs> well, mm. it's quite high, isn't it? Because mm. like they've got some really nice things in here, actually. Because somewhere down the line, we do want to place our bathroom upstairs. There you go. Oh, I like that. They do three. Do they do three designs for you as well. So maybe, um, probably because that's the next thing on the list you want to do to the house, isn't it? To the bathroom upstairs. Mm. Oh well. Wow. Really nice, aren't they? I've got like a bathroom to bathroom, something like that. It's a weird shaped bath, isn't it? Mm. Mm? Definitely, definitely, definitely going to come back in here. Yeah? There you go. Something like that in the bathroom would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Oh, well, I didn't realise they've got more up here as well. Should we start around the side? Mm. That's what they've got around here. Obviously, they've got a brochure as well, so we'll see what there is. Obviously, our little bathroom upstairs is quite small, so it would be restricted on space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, a big bathroom that big. Mm. Um, so let's give me some ideas though. A square toilet. Whatever next. Look. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? That just goes to prove how old our bathroom is in our house. Doesn't it? Um, it'd be nice if you could fit a bath and a shower upstairs. I don't think we'll be able to. That's a weird, that's a weird sink. His and hers. Here you go. That was mine, that one's yours. Mm. But yeah. I suppose if you get a designer in, I suppose they could work wonders, couldn't they? Yeah. As you can see, I'm using my mobile phone because we're in a shop and that sort of thing. So I think it's just as easy to use my phone wearing them in close places. But yeah. <laughs> Please do not sit on this toilet. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's nice little shower things here, isn't there? Oh, nice big round mirror as well. What do you mean? I think they're separate, and you just buy from as you want them, I think, really. Mm. Oh, that's a nice little cabinet in the bathroom, look. Yeah. Mm. And then little ones. One thing I would never have again is these mixer taps. I do not like those mixer taps, do you? No, I hate them. I hate them, actually. Yeah. Tell you what, they haven't got really nothing up here for wet rooms, have they? Mm. Not really as such. Not unless I could design you a wet room or something like that. Just mainly like baths and normal showers and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. What's that in there? That's a, that's a cool idea, isn't it? Have that under the thing. But anyway, oh well, we can't get what we want from in here. So we'll head back down to... Where do you want to go? Wixes? Yeah. That's yeah. so what they've got in there, yeah. Mm. I do like these though. Quite nice. <laughs> What's that? Is that a heated towel rail? Yeah. It's not, it's not. That's a radiator. That's a double <laughs> weird thing for a radiator, isn't it, that one? So yeah, we um, went to screw fix here, didn't we? We managed to get what we want is. And we've also got a new shower head for it as well. I think that one's slightly bigger than the old one. Mm. 
handy having that in town. It is actually. It's so sad having to go to Bramby all the time, doesn't it? Once upon a time, we used to have nothing here. I know. But I know the screw fix you've got, we've got here. It's not like the one with the shop, though, is it? So to speak. Well, it's decent enough. Yeah, I'm not a mean is. If you know what you want, you can go to the till and you do it that way. So. It's like an Argos. <laughs> yeah, basically, it is in one way, isn't it? Mm. So it is. And also that tour station, that's like as well, because I know they do do the shops as well. Mm. Here we go. So what this is like, shall we? You never thought a stainless steel hose would get a hole in, would you? Yep. No more luck of it, it fucking fit. Uh -huh. Should do, yeah, it hose the hose, isn't it? Does it matter, does it? I thought a hose is a hose. As long as it goes in, not as long as it matters. There isn't the particular type you need, is there? I thought as long as it fits in, doesn't really matter, does it? Does it go on that end? Does it go on that side? There we go. And then when I have my shower tonight, I'll be the first one to try it out. That's it. Question is, will that head fit through? There we go. Oh yeah, you turn it off. Yeah, better, oh, you better put it back on again, yeah. That was, that's it. Oh well, that comes up loads better, doesn't it? That's better. So at least when we have a bath or a shower now, we can look at the leak. Well. Mm. Oh, sorry. Not that. It's not dripping now. It's not dripping now. It's a, had a hole here somewhere, didn't we, in it, like the old one. So I hope everything goes across. Will that still fit on there? It should do there, shouldn't it? It's the same sort of same sort of set. And the only thing that was different was the actual the hose. Oh, well, there we go. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The one with this one, they've got that little clip on it. Now you've got to... I've got to do it yourself. Yeah. Well, that's only difference. That won't be too bad, though, will it? So. Oh, there you go. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. So anyways, Peter, how was school today? Really good. Really good, yeah. Um, look, when your teacher's done a strike today, or was it ready today? No, no, no. I said not on strike. Your teacher was not on strike today, yeah, that's good. But anyway, you had a good day, yeah, yeah? Yeah. Is there anything interesting today? Um, um, today, my mate, I've just been doing PE. You've been, you've been doing PE all day though, have you? No. What did you do in PE today? Well, in, in PE today, my mate. Mm. I'm doing rugby again. You're doing rugby? No. Oh, that's right then, isn't it? Yeah. Did you do your rugby? Yeah. Yeah, that's right though, isn't it? So, how else have you done today? Um. Um. What? Probably. He's stuffing chocolate buttons in his mouth. Why get much of my putting chocolate buttons? What's the matter? I did about the coronation today. He did about the coronation today. Uh, I knew you would. So, so who's our king? What's his name? George. It isn't George. It is. What? What's his name? What? What's his name? King. King. King Ch Charles. King Charles, isn't it? George. He will be. He probably will be king one day, Sammy, but. But yeah, so all right. There's what you have. To, what you been? What you been doing about the coronation? What happens and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, it's going to be really interesting to see the coronation, though, isn't it? See what actually happens and stuff. Because what actually happens on the coronation? Do you know? I know it's key. Yes, it, is it was it Mr. Abbey? I think it is, isn't it? So I know then on Sunday there's a, on Sunday there's the um, concert, isn't it? Which is quite interesting to go and watch. Naturally, we'll watch, probably watch on the telly. So that's actually like. That's probably like the one they had the party for the Queen's Jubilee last year, isn't it? 
<laughs> oh, is it in Windsor Castle? Oh, that's not too bad, isn't it? Look really interesting. So I bet you leg allow and be closer that day, wouldn't it? Or the security around there would probably be really, really tight around there. Yeah, that is. Anyway, yes, Mr. Ben is home as well. Apparently, he's had a really good day again today. Um, obviously, they kept a close eye on what happened yesterday. Obviously, I did phone school anyway. What? What's my? What's my? Oh. Oh, yeah, John. Oh, yeah, John English. I do love that John English with the episode with that way with the king and stuff. That is really, really funny. I'm quite surprised he hasn't made the fourth one, though, aren't you? So like, but anyway, so I was saying, yeah, so Ben, I did phone school this morning and let them know what's happening. What was? The third one. What, I've done English? Oh, wow, that's crazy. I can't remember it being 2011. That's crazy. Well, it was again, wasn't it? 2018. I was going to say 2018. Yeah. I was going to say yeah, that 2018. Do what I was doing this thing, but speaking of Ron Atkinson, what I do you think is funny is <laughs> Man versus B. He's, he's, he has that Mr. Bean character about him, doesn't he? So, anyway, yeah, because you can see Ben's had, like I said, he's had a really lovely day at school today. He's been playing PE at school. And he's been out to the shops, and his feet up. As you can see, he's grabbing my hand. What do you want? Are you still hungry? You always know when Ben's better when he's like this. We pulls you to the cup, um, brush your hand, and he pulls you to the cupboard. You had a busy day at school. You had a busy day at school. Yeah. Go on, let's open the gate and see what you want. Open the gate. Come on, then, Ron dear. What do you want? What are you after? What are you after, my sweetheart? What are you after? What's in the cupboard? The thing in the cupboard for you? You can't eat Rice Krispies. You can't have Rice Krispies anyway. Rice Krispies are for breakfast, aren't they? What are you after in there? No. This is your cupboard, Ben. Ben, no, you can't have that. What are you for, Ben? You're going for your cherry bakewells. You love your cherry bake rolls, don't you? Every time we go shopping, you always have to grab them. Can you, go, can you do it? Got them with some help. There we go, you've got one left. Here you go, Ben. Let's get your cherry bake roll for you. Ben, you're not allowed those cookies. No, 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 no. Technically, you're not allowed those. Are you? No, you're not allowed cookies. Well, you can, but they've got the gluten in them. So technically, you shouldn't be having them, really. Well, now, if you can you do it? Let's help you. Well, let's take out the package. Let's take out the silver foil. Let's take out the silver foil. There we go. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. You're making up for lost time, aren't anyway, you? Anyway, Sammy, I forgot to ask you. What is your school dinner today? School dinner today, my man. School dinner today. It was chicken pasta bake. Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Was it nice? Yeah. Yeah. Did you eat it all? Yeah. And did you eat your vegetables today? Yeah. Did you eat your vegetables today? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I had to. Yeah, right. If I send your teacher a message or email, will she, will she say you or your vegetables? Do you just stay in that? I had to all my vegetables. That's a first, isn't it? And what was your pudding today? Pudding today. Pudding today, mummy. It was the yoghurt. Was it a yoghurt? So you had two yog. You had two yoghurts because she took one in school this morning, didn't you? No. Yeah, but oh well. Daddy said he'll do your vlog for you for tomorrow, all right? Daddy forgot today. So he'll do it for you tomorrow, all right? Daddy will do it tomorrow. Yeah, Daddy, for you tomorrow, your, your vlog from Legoland. So I always had a quick peek and you, done, you filmed it really well with Mummy's phone, yeah. didn't you? Especially the pirate show. Yeah, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.